Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Hazard4D, and this is how to make an intro, a part two. This is the After Effects part. I'm gonna show you guys how you guys could um, make an intro look way better, make it look sexy. You could um, bring in uh, any intro or anything, and I'm gonna show you how you guys could use a couple of plugins. And um, yeah, if you haven't seen part one, uh, go watch it. It's on my channel. Uh, it's how to make the, the actual animation and stuff in Cinema 4D. And yeah, this is part two on how to make it look way better in After Effects. Um, Every project you make in Cinema 4D, you always have to take it After Effects for it to look very good. So yeah, let's get started. Open up After Effects, and this is what we're gonna make today. Let me hit the play button. It's gonna show you how to make this new shine with optical flares, and yeah, I rushed this right now. I made it before the tutorial, but you guys have to take your time and be more creative and add your own effects and stuff. All right. So um. I'm gonna save this on my desktop, so just in case, I'll leave it uh, down in the description. I'll add the the stuff you'll need for this tutorial. So, mm. After Effects tutorial, oh, Hazard 40. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Saving, and then go to File, New, and then Project. All right. So the first thing you want is you want to uh, import your clip. So go to File, Import, File, and you want to open, um, find where your intro is at, where you saved it. So I have this PNG folder right here, and Cinema Cinem 4D Intro Tutorial, and you open frame the zero, the first one, and this open, and it should import all the frames for you, all the PNG files. And make sure you're on none right here on this new project and drag it in here right here. It's going to make a new composition. And if you want to make a new composition yourself, you can just go to composition, new composition, or you can go to composition settings. And you guys can mess with the width, height, the frame rate, the resolution, and all this stuff. I like how it is, so I'm just going to hit OK. And now what you want to do is you want to insert a background because when you render PNG it doesn't um the background doesn't show like it just it just um renders out like your intro your animation the objects so we want to add a cool background so um I usually use textures they really look pretty good so I have a texture in my in my desktop it's called the carbon I'll leave it the down in the description and um yeah let's drag it into here and then from here um uh, just drag it onto right here, straight to the comp, and put it under the intro for be as a background, and this scale it up will be as big as the comp size. And we see now you have a background to it. it looks a little bit better now. You guys can use any texture and stuff, and yeah, you can also hit uh, T on your keyboard, and you could like uh, keyframe the opacity from like a hundred and probably make this 80 um, probably back to 90 uh, to uh, back to 80 to 85 and then at 10 frames to 100 that's yes, gonna animate the, the opacity so it'll be like pretty dark and then the background the lines will fade since it's carbon and then um yeah now what we need to do is um hit control y uh no go to layer new and adjustment layer yeah it was control y <clears throat> and then on the adjustment layer what, what we're gonna do to adjustment layer is we're gonna add the effects like this, we can add the effects just to each one, but adjustment layer is like a layer on top, and you can just add, I usually just add my effects, like I go to color correction, curves, let me go to the frame, like right here, if I can see how it's affecting, and it's bringing it a little bit down, well since my intro is dark, it not add, don't add that much, but when you have like a light intro, it's, it's like make a S shape, like bring this one down, this one up, I'm not gonna bring it that much as I usually do because we're on the background everything's black and this is dark gray so yeah this adjust it to your own settings and stuff it depends what kind of colors you're using so now you want to go to effect and go to magic bullet looks um, I'm gonna leave the download um, 
the video link for you guys to see how you guys can download it or you guys just Google it or YouTube it to how to get this um this uh, uh plugin. Uh let's go to a good frame probably right here and then go to edit and this um interface should pop up and you could use like the default the, the classes they should have um some already made the presets and um you can use these if you want but I'm just gonna use my own make my own um if I go to subject uh let's see let's add a crush let's go to Matt or Matt I don't know even how to say it. add some diffusion and the size want to make it probably to one and the glow a little bit down and you could mess with the color and now let's go to lens and add a vignette and make it a little bit bigger like this and then want to add some soft edges this blurs everything out you could mess with the settings and stuff right here let's go right here where the dotted line is and just click on it and drag up to right here and um, you can mess with all these settings and stuff if you want I'm just gonna leave it how it is Alright, now we have a little bit of diffusion and crush going on there. It looks pretty good. And now, what I usually do is go to um, click on the Cinema 4D and then go to Effect. And now we're going to use another plugin called uh, Trap Code. And I'm going to use uh, uh, Star Glow. No, let's use Shine first. And if you go right here where it says Transfer Mode, make sure this is on Add. And then the shine opacity, I'm gonna make it 30. And the source opacity, I'm gonna make it around 90. Then we go to colorize. Uh, I'm gonna make the colors blue since the intro is blue. And then make this one a blue too. Okay. See, that has a little bit of shine right here. You can increase if you want, like, this go for like. 35 it makes it a little bit bigger and then if, then you go to effect trap code and then go to star glow and make sure the transform mode is on add as well and make the star glow opacity the, the same settings at the as shine I'm gonna use 35 for the star glow opacity and the source I'm gonna use 90 and if you go to color map A, it's on green. I'm going to go f all for blues. But you guys can mess with these colors and frag and match your colors on your intro and stuff. And then if you go to color map B, I'm going to add s some more blue. Blue. Well, that should look pretty good. So now we play like, it's just started looking way better now this nice glowing streaks and stuff now we're going to close it down and now let's add some optical flare so just hit control y and make it black hit ok or else you go to layer new solid click on it then go to effects video copilot optical flares and um, I want to go to options and this, should, this window should pop up let it load. All right, so I'm gonna clear all and hit yes. And we could use if you have like custom made ones, like if you have like pro presets, has all these optical flares, you could use them or your own custom saved ones that you guys use. But I'm just gonna make a little quick uh, one for myself. I'm just gonna add a glow, a streak, and yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna add. Let's go to global parameter. And I'm just gonna change the color to some type of blue uh, around there. Should look good. And you guys could mess with the blend mode. Uh, blend mode. Um, add some lens textures and all this stuff. So after you're done, just hit OK. And um, on the mode right here, you want to make sure it's on Add on the layer we just made like this and adds it to the intro and um on top of it and want to go here where it says position and you want to select put it like 
at the top up here. And hit control minus and you yeah, just make sure it's right there. And hit control plus and zoom back in. And we say flicker. Always that um like adding flicker. I always use speed uh thirty and amount thirty. That's pretty good. And um you can animate this however you want. I'm just gonna hit control C V. It's gonna copy it and this click on the position and bring it down here you get mess with the brightness like we could make it probably eighty percent eighty percent that should look pretty good and um... now we could probably add some text in it you got some transitions you got some more effects if you guys want add some color corrections, you guys could mess with anything. And um another cool thing is uh like masking it's so the cool thing you could do. And yeah but I'm not gonna go into masking right now. Uh Pauline you know, I'll do another tutorial on how to do masking and um, I'm gonna do start making after effects tutorials on this is just the basics and I'm gonna go to more advanced like how to use uh other cool plugins and how to make intros and stuff like that so now to we got uh, some text so let's move to frame to nine seconds I mean and all right here I'm gonna use the font typograph pro and you guys can mess with all right here and yeah I'm, it's 48 pixels and I'm just gonna type in YouTube slash forward slash hazard 4d Oh, sad, but question mark. <coughs> Hazard 40. And if you select right here on choose grid and guide options and go to title and action save, we want to align the text. So I'm just going to put it like right here in the middle. And um, when you click on it, Want to go to effect and transition and linear wipe. So we're gonna make it kind of look like a typing effect or something like that. So right here where it says plus 90, want to click on it and go to go to minus 90. And wa we want to bring it to 100%. Click on on 90 nine seconds of the intro or whatever to the end, whatever frame you want. Just click on this watch. This enables auto keyframe. And when you go to 10 seconds, make this 0%. So it's going to type it out. It's going to look like it's typing out. So we go to 9. We hit play. See, it looks like it's typing it out. <coughs> oh, I put dollar sign again on the text. Oh, uh, who cares? And um, to the to the background, since you could like make the opacity go all the way down, for it'll just show the YouTube or yeah, um, you could do some other effects how you guys ever, however you guys like. And um, you could also add like, some optical flares, like you guys can animate it, like the position and stuff like that. Like um, you could s click on it, select the position, and you can move it around. All right, I'm back. I've had my so one of my family members walked in the room. I hate when that shit happens. I'm making a tutorial and someone walks in and asks me a question or something. So yeah, um, you guys can tweak everything up, mess with settings. Um, if you go to you can animate the flares. So like auto key. I already have a tutorial on my channel. Go check it out. It's how to animate, how to make and animate on um, flares. It's a pretty good tutorial. I go in depth on how to it works. And we hit this button right here. It's a it's called the RAM preview. And let's wait till it goes through 10% for you guys to see how the intro will be, how it look like. And if you don't like it, you could just um, mess with the settings and add some more stuff. And yeah, you guys gotta add some more stuff like Twitch, uh, DG effects, and and yeah, just be creative with it and leave it as a video response. Also, add me on Skype is I Hazard 3D, and on Xbox my gamertag is Hazard 4D, same as my YouTube. And yeah, um, 
it's been a while since I made tutorials. Uh, I've been busy and I've been in the streets a lot. I've been tagging and stuff like that. I got back into graffiti. So I was a little kid. I used to graffiti, but I've got back into it. So that's why I haven't been using Cinema 4D and stuff. But yeah, I just decided to make this tutorial. I was a little bit bored today. So yeah, and if you guys haven't seen the part one, go check it out. It's on my channel. It's how to make this cool animation. And yeah, just remember to favorite, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. It only takes a few seconds. It takes a couple hours to make these tutorials, to render it, to make it, and stuff. And it only takes a few seconds to subscribe. So yeah, it really helps a lot. Let's, let's finish. Wait until this finish. And we're going to see how this intro looks like. Yeah, it's taking forever because I only got like 4 gig RAM in my computer. It's not that good. I'm using a laptop right now. Mm. Alright, right, let's hit the play button. Let's see how we have. See, it has like nice reflection and glowing star glow. And looks pretty good. You guys got more flares and, you know make it go to your style and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it guys um peace out and remember to favorite like comment subscribe <laughs> peace and if you want to buy an intro message me too <laughs> oh and also i'm gonna leave the the download uh link in the description for all the tools the project file and the cinema 4 d file and the texture and stuff and links for you guys can download these plugins all right peace out